Today's shared book is called Molly Mulu. Molly Mulu. It's written by Jill Eagleton and illustrated by Warren Mahi. Molly Mulu chewed grass and flicked flies with her swishy, swashy tail. That's all she ever did. Then one day Molly Mulu saw a gate open and she thought to herself, I need to have an adventure. So out the gate she went. Hmm, I'm wondering where Molly Mulu might go on her adventure. Hmm, do you think she might have any problems? Molly Mulu went clomp, clomp, clomp down the road, past a big black bull. When the big black bull saw Molly Mulu, he thought to himself, Hmm, that Molly Mulu is going somewhere. I better go too. So he stomped down the fence and went down the road after Molly Mulu. Oh, I don't think the farmer's going to be pleased with that bull stomping down his fence. Molly Mulu and the big black bull went past a long-legged horse. Molly Mulu mooed and the big black bull bellowed. Ding, ding. When the long-legged horse saw Molly Mulu and the big black bull, she thought to herself, that Molly Mulu and the big black bull are going somewhere. I better go too. So she just leapt right over the fence and went down the road after them. Molly Mulu and the big black bull and the long-legged horse went past a bunch of woolly sheep. Molly Mulu mooed. The big black bull bellowed and the long-legged horse went neigh. One woolly sheep scrambled under the fence. So of course all the other woolly sheep had to go too. They all went trotting down the road after Molly Mulu and the big black bull and the long-legged horse. None of them knew where they were going except Molly Mulu. She was having an adventure. Suddenly, there was honking and hooting, beeping and tooting. All around Molly Mulu and the big black bull and the long-legged horse and that bunch of woolly sheep. Molly Mulu mooed. The big black bull bellowed. And the long-legged horse neighed. And that bunch of woolly sheep went ba 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 on and on and on. What a commotion and a hullabaloo. All because Molly Mulu wanted an adventure. I'm thinking this is a big problem. I'm wondering what's going to happen next. Can you guess? Then thrumpity, thrump, thrump, a giant bird, well, that's what Molly Mulu thought it was, came whirring through the sky and plopped a huge cage right in front of Molly Mulu. Molly Mulu could smell grass and she remembered she hadn't chewed any for a long time. So Molly Mulu clomped into the cage. Then, how strange, she was swinging through the sky and the next thing Molly Mulu knew, she was back in her own field again, feeling very pleased with herself for having had an adventure. All day the giant bird went thrumpity thrump thrump, back for the big black bull, back for the long-legged horse, and back 20 times for that big bunch of woolly sheep. But Molly Mulu never knew. She was chewing grass and flicking away flies with her swishy, swashy tail, just like she always did. Let's have a closer look at the story. What made Molly Mulu want to have an adventure? Can you remember? That's right, she was bored. Have you ever been bored? Why 
were you bored? And what did you do to feel better? Can you remember? Can you think of the problem that happened in this story? Remember Molly Mulu and the animals wanted an adventure, but they ended up stuck in the middle of the city with all the traffic and the smoke. Can you remember how that problem was solved? I wonder if you can draw a picture of Molly Mulu and the problem with the animals in the city, and then draw a picture telling us how they solved the problem. Could you write a sentence to go with each of your pictures? Have a go. There were lots of wow words in this story. Can you find the wow words on these two pages? That's right, the wow words are the exciting words that tell us about sounds or how things moved. Here's some in big black font. Clop, 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 went Molly Mulu down the road. And then remember the big black bull stomped down the fence. And in the city there was honking, hooting, beeping and tooting. I wonder if you could act out the following wow words from the story. Have a go when I read them. Clop. Stomp. Honking. Hooting. Beeping. Tooting. Flicked. Whirring. Swishy. Swashy. Have a go at reading those words to yourself and acting them out. Another thing we could try is to think of some questions that you would like to ask Molly Mulu about her adventure. Try acting these out with your family. One of you could pretend to be Molly Mulu and the other person could be asking the questions. What answers would Molly Mulu give you? First question I'd like to ask her is why did you want to go on an adventure Molly Mulu? I wonder what she'd say. Go back and listen to the story again. Can you join in with some of the animal sounds? Perhaps you could act them out when you hear the words clop, mood, bellowed or neighed. Enjoy the story everyone.